Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Very sweaty and dirty uh, and tired Conscientious Omnivore today. Uh, did a lot of uh, stuff, went to the dump, brought a bunch of things, uh, basically rubble there and bits of other garbage and waste. Then I also picked up a lot of uh, rock wool insulation for the ceiling. So I'm working on a tiny house here and uh, you can see bare walls behind me or mostly bare walls. I took down a lot of the stuff that was kind of uh, bad and moldy and just kind of like messed up already from having when the roof was opened uh, way back in the day. And I'm getting ready to insulate the ceiling now, so I had to go get a bunch of insulation. And uh, both the garbage uh, removal and the purchase of the insulation is kind of related to the topic that I wanted to just very quickly give you guys. So basically just uh, two tips, you know, if you're building or doing anything, really this kind of applies almost for anything like uh, you got to just ask for a discount. <laughs> I went and uh, called around to a few places, I think I called three different places, I looked online, found prices and uh, I actually ended up going with the place with the highest price because they were willing to make a deal with me and I ended up getting it to be the same price as the uh, lowest price that I found and nobody else was willing to work with me to give me a bargain and this place was actually the closest that I got this from. So. It was great, you know, it's just like, you can't beat that. I saved some money on gas, saved a lot of time, um, and uh, and I got the same good price that I would have gotten in the other place just by asking. And, um, you know, lo and behold, the magic of uh, saying please, and uh, it worked. So that's tip number one. If you're getting anything in bulk, uh, it usually uh, doesn't hurt to ask if you can get a discount, because sometimes they're willing to work with you. And, uh, and if the first place isn't, maybe just call around and see if another place is. So that's number one. And then number two is just related to the garbage. I just uh, cannot stress enough like how much money I saved on the bags. I did a video a while back where I talked about reusing the um, uh, garbage bags from the green waste that I often pick up from the side of the road. And now I had a ton of bags from the uh, spent mushroom substrate. So I was just using those. And those are really thin bags. They're not meant for debris and like heavy rubble. But what you can do is just double them up or sometimes triple them up. I found that uh, doubling them was plenty enough though. And uh, they're just as sturdy like that as, and as the expensive uh, debris bags that you would buy. So it was great. I saved a ton of money with that and uh, you know, just reuse the bags. So it's great, that much less plastic that I needed to put into the world. I didn't have to go buy uh, more plastic bags. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, definitely uh, that's another great tip if you're getting rid of a lot of garbage. See if you can get reused bags and if they're too thin, just double them up. They work great. So that's it for now. Hope you guys are having a good summer. Hope everybody's good. I really got to go take a shower and get cleaned up and uh, I'm going to be ending my day here pretty soon. So hope everybody's good. See you in another video soon. Bye.